Hey guys, so as you've seen over the last couple of days, Tesla has been on a crazy roll with releasing big and substantial updates, with one of them being FSD 12.3.3, and that is one of the biggest free trial we have ever seen ever. Practically, if you live in the US or Canada and you have a capable car with capable hardware, you are going to be getting this free one month trial. Pretty much with this recent release of 12.3.3, if you haven't already experienced it, over the past weekend, you are likely going to be seeing it in your car or in your inbox in the next couple of days. Once you experience this, you are going to be blown away just as everybody else is. There is so many things that you would not think possible that is now possible in this 12.3 branch and I hope it eventually reaches over to Europe and over to Asia for all of us to really experience the capabilities of this software. Now, of course, this isn't perfect in any way. It is still supervised and it cannot detect things in the the background, it cannot detect every single object on the road, and it especially cannot back up right now in case it does get stuck. But all in all, you do have a one month free trial, and as this software continues to improve, I am certain that all of these features are going to be coming. And Tesla, with them coming out with the Robo Taxi announcement on August 8th, things are going to change in every single way. Now, really, if this is worth it to you or not, you do have the option to subscribe and buy it after that period, and it is going to be $12,000 or equivalent $15,000 Canadian. It is a big chunk of change, but it is also the very best possible software that you can buy for self-driving at the moment. Throughout the years of me experiencing the software, I personally would say that it is worth it. However, things seem to be dropping as we are talking about all this, and eventually it may hit the $5,000 mark, and I think that is where the mass majority of people are going to be comfortable with. So for those of you that cannot enjoy the experience because of the cost or where you are located, right now it doesn't have the software available just wait out a little bit longer because once it's out it's going to be a lot more polished and it's going to cost a lot less all right so now let's talk about the main topic of this video and that is going to be the new the reintroduced version of auto park it has literally been three years since tesla has shipped any single vehicle that has auto park available right off the lot this is because of the lack of ultrasonic sensors and this is why we haven't gotten features such as summon, smart summon, auto park, and even auto park assist. As Tesla continues to transition over to the vision based system, they are disabling some of the features until everything is perfect. And now we finally started seeing a bunch of these features started rolling out. Now just earlier this year, we've gotten a taste of what the system is able to do and what it's capable of with the new Tesla vision park assist that is able to detect and give us a heat map of everything around us using the occupancy network it is able to give us pretty much the surrounding view of what we would see around with our own eyes. What makes this even better than the ultrasonic sensors in my opinion is that the fact that it uses AI and it's able to detect things when they are occluded behind a wall, it's able to detect pedestrians, and it's able to detect the things that are not seen by your very own eyes. A really good example here is that it can now detect things above the vehicles, things that you cannot account for yourself, such as the vehicle height restrictors or how big your garage is going to be. So things around that nature is going to be fantastic with this new auto park system. So as of right now, you're probably experiencing both systems combined together, the auto park and the park assist to make it what it is and using purely vision makes it even better than anything you've seen before. The pure fact that you can pull into a parking lot and it will automatically pick a spot for you or allow you to manually select all the open ones available. This will give you an insight as to the future potential of all this. So now with all that being said, there are a few areas that need minor improvements. These are not really big deals, but they are there and they have been noticed throughout the last couple of weeks that the software is available. First off, the obvious one is the fact that it is quite slow. Now this has been a clear point ever since Auto Park was first introduced years ago. And now that it is also in the same software, a lot of us feel that it is not necessary to activate the system when you can just park it yourself. I would say that although it 
it is just as slow or even slower than the previous version from some of the videos that I have seen. It is a lot more confident and it pulls in a lot more smoother and more accurate than what the parking sensors were able to do. Secondly, it is only able to back up into parking stalls regardless of if it is parallel or perpendicular. It does not even try to nose in at any given chance. This could very well be the case of limitations with hardware. The fact that it does not have the front bumper camera is a big contributor to if it can see things on the ground. But knowing that the recent Park Assist system is able to detect a lot of objects all around it, provide a heat map, I cannot say that this will not work. It likely just needs some additional polishing before everything gets worked out and it can finally just nose right in. Then the last thing on the list here really is that it will always favor lines over other vehicles, meaning that it'll always get itself accurate dead center within the parking lines, regardless of the vehicle next to you, if it's parked over the line or if it's parked too close to you. This makes it very uncomfortable once the parking has completed and you are too close to the vehicle next to you, you cannot open the door and the other car cannot open their door because you are too near each other. So now, although these things sound very nitpicky, the system is quite good on its own the way it is right now and it just needs these little fine refinements before it becomes the perfect park assist system. But anyways, really good news for us all because we've just gotten confirmation that the team is already working on the second iteration of this auto park and it is going to be a lot better than it is right now. In a recent response to a user on X, Tesla's head of AI has confirmed that the vehicle and the software is currently tuned very conservatively and that means that it is going to be a lot slower but it will be adjusted to be a lot quicker and perform a lot better in the future releases. For the time being, they are collecting as much data as possible for everybody that is experiencing it and with the one month free trial of full self-driving supervised with the auto park system, they are going to be getting a ton of data as much as they need and they are going to be working some magic getting the software fine tuned to the point where it feels just like a human parking. Now once all this is ironed out, guess what? We are going to be getting from end to end with the full self-driving software. This is when you can activate it from a parking spot and it will get to another spot it will park and this is where it will be a complete hands-free system I am super stoked for all this and I know you guys are as well that you've been trying out full self-driving supervised for the last couple of days it is incredible and I hope Tesla is going to expand this to everybody in the near future and I can't wait for the rest of you guys to experience it if you haven't already gotten it on your car once Tesla refines the software we are going to be getting the full end-to-end self-driving feature and if you haven't already heard, the RoboTaxi is going to be announced on August the 8th and this is where we're going to see the very best things come out. I can't wait until we get to know more details on that and of course I will be covering everything so make sure you guys hit that subscribe button and that bell notification if you haven't already done so and follow me on X or Twitter at HeyJohnE. You guys can chat with me and DM with me over there. But for this one, holy crap, everything is just too good and I can't wait to keep posting as much content as possible. But this should wrap it up for this one. I hope you enjoyed it. This is John once again. Peace out.